Hey everyone, thanks for learning to play games. My name is Lance, and in today's video we'll be playing through a brand new game coming to Kickstarter called Wander Leclux Revenge. This is the latest game in the Wander series from Panacult Games, and is a 1-5 to five player game that takes roughly 1-2 to two hours to play, and is a fully cooperative game where all the players are working together to defeat whichever scenario they've chosen to go on. So in this particular mission, our Wanders are back in Barnacle Bay, and have found out that Leclux crew has tracked down an ancient artifact, the Amulet of Drowned Souls, which helps give Lecluck her immortality as long as it is at sea and so the crew or the wanderers guild is set with trying to get onto her ship as it is flooding and retrieve this amulet and get it back to the wanderers guild so it can be destroyed on land so we're going to find out if we're able to be successful in those endeavors and be able to recapture this amulet today so as always, if you find these videos helpful, if you like what I do, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel. It's one of the easiest ways you can support channels like mine so we can continue to grow and be able to produce this content. If you want to get notified anytime I drop new videos, also give that notification bell a ring, and that'll let you know when I drop new stuff. I do also want to point out that all the materials that I'll be using in this video are prototype materials and are subject to change, and it'll look a lot better in the final production copy of the game. Also, if you're just interested in checking out an overview where I go over the main features of the game and show you a sample turn, I'll have a link up in the top corner to that video as well. So let's go ahead and add it to the table, and we'll see how this one plays. So before getting into the game, there's a couple of additional things we have to handle for setup. The first is spawning enemies, and so we're going to spawn a number of enemy cards based on the number of large tiles plus the number of characters playing. So right now we're going to spawn six enemy groups. So starting at this location here, we have a caster. Ugh, that's a rough way to start. And then let's go to this one. We have two grunts. From there, we have a grunt and an archer. Next, we have one grunt. Over on the other side, we have a grunt. And the final card is a caster. All right, so no brutes. So we'll go ahead and pull out the brute card from here and that might come up at a later point all right so then we shuffle up the initiative cards and we'll see where everything falls and who gets to go all right at the top of the order is amanda then we have flintlock archers lance waku Grunts and casters are last. Unfortunately, they are in the last slot, which is going to give them an extra defense. And now they have three defense, even harder to bring down. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So moving into it, um, let's start off with what our characters are going to take. So Amanda is going to take the action or the ability that gives her plus one to her ra or plus one range to her melee attacks. Lance is going to take, I think I'm going to take the defensive prayer to help out my, my characters with defense. Flintlock is going to take the reload so that he can do a reload or a reroll. And I'm going to take with Waku, I'm going to go ahead and take his corrosive aura, which is going to close enemies or minus one defense. So that can help out there. All right, so moving into it. Um, I think at this point, Amanda is going to need to move us. So I'm going to go ahead and move us up. Slide us all the way here. Now she could have stopped here, but with our other characters, I think we're going to need to get up anyways. Well, if I get up there, then Waku's ability does take effect. So that brings the casters back down to two defense versus going here where they're still at three. So yeah, I think I'm going to do that, even though the, my, their miasma is going to come into play with this, which basically means that our dice are not going to explode. So any critical we roll still counts as a success. It just will not allow us to roll another die. All right, so then her second action, she's going to go ahead and attack and try to hit the caster. And she got two hits. One of them is a crit. Again, I can't re-roll that. Uh, or get a, an additional dice for that. So unfortunately, she does not get through its defense as it is at three right now, minus the one from Waku. So that is the end of her turn, and we're over to Flintlock. 
So Flintlock's actually going to be rolling five dice. So he has a good shot at this. We'll see what happens. So he's going to go ahead and target the caster. And he got four successes with a reroll. Uh, re uh, so he got two damage on the caster from that. So this caster has two damage. And he has one action left. So he's going to go ahead and go again. Try to bring that one down. And just two this time, but he does get a reroll. Re -roll. And there it is. So that will bring the caster down, and he's going to get two experience points for that. So casters are quite hard, so you get a couple extra, or an extra one for that. Okay. So that is the end of his turn. So then we're on to archers. The archer currently, the only one out on the board, cannot see us, as there is a wall here, and the darkness blocks line of sight. So he's just going to hold off there, and we're over to Lance to go. Lance is in a defensive slot, so I think we got to get into it. So we're going to go ahead and move into the darkness. So we're going to flip it over, and it's an event, so we'll have to resolve that. And I'm going to slide our raft right on up on there. Okay, so let's see what event we have. This is the Sirens of the Sea. So you hear an enchanting song beckoning you to... a to dark portals. Teleport to the closest spawn point. Check knowledge. All right, so closest spawn point. Oh man, is unfortunately right there. So I am poisoned at this point. And then I have to check my knowledge. My knowledge is three on Lance. So we'll see yeah, if he is feeling smart or not. Ooh. Oh. There we go. Holy smokes. Oh, it just keeps going. All right, so uh, he got seven successes. <laughs> so three plus, you dance to the siren's song. They are pleased and gift you one treasure. You get to draw a treasure card. So I do get poisons, but I get a treasure card out of it. So I guess that might be good. And I found some grenadoes. So this is a ranged weapon. It's crits cause an AOE wound per crit. So those are actually not too bad. I don't think I'll equip them with Lance at this point, but those will be handy. I'll try to get those to one of my other characters, and that could be really useful. All right, um, so that was my first action. And at this point, I'm going to need to move, and I'll go there. All right, and then also on top of being in dark water, I am going to take a wound for ending my action in a space with dark water. And then I do have to resolve the poison, so I'm going to roll my defense and see what happens there. I do get an extra defense from the space I'm in, so if I can get a crit, I get rid of it, but I'm in a dark water, so it might not be beneficial. Nope, I'm going to take a wound. I was completely unsuccessful in that. Okay. That will end Lance's turn, so we're over to Waku to go. So Waku is in an attack space, so he's going to get an extra die for that. And I'm going to target this guy here. So I'm going to try to get him out of the way there. All right, I got one crit, so I do get to poison him at least. And that'll let me roll another die. And it's a hit, so no luck there. I was all about melee when I'm looking for range. All right, so at this point, I will poison him, but no other effect from that, and I will attack again. Maybe I'll get luckier on this one. All right, ooh, there we go. So we got two crits and a hit, and so two more dice for the crits, and two more hits. So five wounds, that will be enough to take care of the monkey grunt. So poison doesn't matter on that situation, and Waku gets his first damage. Okay, so that is going to finish his turn. Over to the Grunts to go. Now, Grunts get to move up to three spaces. And so this guy is going to make his way down. And then he is going to attack, and enemies are not affected by poison from the water. So then he is going to attack the highest character on the track, which is going to be Amanda. Amanda is going to take one damage from that unless she can stop it she does get a extra die for defense and she stopped it with the crit doesn't she doesn't have any effects for that so i don't have to roll anymore but she doesn't take any damage she will take a courage hit though 
All right, that will finish off that grunt. And he does not see us right now. And then that guy doesn't see us because of the darkness space. All right, so that will end their turn. Over to casters to go. And so we do have a caster over there that's going to move. And that is the only caster out on the field right now. So it is back to the top of the order with Amanda. So she's going to go ahead and turn and attack and try to hit that monkey grunt there. And that's a crack. So two hits and the monkey grunts have one defense. So that'll be one wound on there. And she's going to go again and see if she can do better. All right, there we go. There's three and another crits. Oh, there we go. Starting it off again. There's another one. Uh, and I think I will. Let's. All right. So there we go. <laughs> so she just completely obliterated him. And he has been eliminated. She is going to gain that courage back for damaging him. And then she gets an experience point. All right. That was her second action. So she doesn't have any actions remaining. So then we're on to Flintlock. So at this point, I think Flintlock is going to turn and attack that caster there. So he gets five dice to try to handle the caster. And he got oof, five successes with a crit, so another roll. So there's six. So she does stop three of them. And three get through. That will defeat the caster. And Flintlock is going to go into level two. So unfortunately for that, all of our heroes are really excited about that and will each gain one experience point for themselves. But we also will spawn enemies because of that noise that has alerted the enemies to the closest spawn point, which is going to be this one here. And we are going to have another caster that is going to come up. So now we have a caster there. All right. Um, so that was his first action. His second action, he is going to go ahead and he's going to go ahead and move. We basically, at this point, we need to make our way up so that we can shoot the cannon and open up this point here. So I'm going to go ahead and get off and move up here. All right, that is going to be the end of his turn. So then it goes over to the archers. Archer does not see us yet. There's a wall there and here. So he's going to stay there. And it's over to Lance to go. So Lance is definitely getting out of that water space. He does have to make a uh, dodge roll to see if he avoids taking damage from the caster for that. He does. He's good. That would have been a great roll for an attack. And that is the, that's his first action. He has one action remaining. So, hmm. what to do? Do I keep moving? Because Amanda would be the one that would be attacked at that point during her next, because of the caster. I think we're okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and move off as well. And I'll go into that space there. Then that will be and then my turn. So over to Waku to go. Waku is going to move. One, two. And I'm going to go ahead and slide up here. I'm not going to move over yet because I don't want to get blasted with the cannon. So then the grunts are going to go. They currently do not see us. So they're going to hold their ground there for all of them because they're, again, these guys are behind a wall. And the darkness blocks line of sights to Waku and to our crew members right now. So nothing there. And then it's on to the caster. So the caster is going to move up and attack Amanda. So Amanda's going to have to make her roll. She gets an extra die for that. And the caster's doing two damage to her. And she blocks both. So no damage, but she still does lose the courage. Okay. Then it is going to kick back over to Amanda to go. So... She could dodge and just run, which might be the best choice right now because she 
she'd have a hard time getting through its defense. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to roll for defense to see if I can dodge out of the way. I do not. So the caster has caught me trying to get away, and I take a wound, but I can still move. So I'm going to go ahead and move two and finish off my turn there. All right, that was my first action. Second action, I'm going to go ahead and move up and get ready for, for that. All right, then Flintlock's going to go. Flintlock is going to go ahead and step up, and he's going to take a shot on that enemy there. He gets five dice, and he got two successes. He gets a reroll, and he got one more, so two damage on the monkey grunt up here. And that will take care of him. So then it is on to archers. Still can't see us. So Lance is going to go. I'm going to go ahead and move over here and attack that monkey grunt. And I get three dice. And I got a crit, so I get to roll another die. And three successes, so two damage on that guy there. So that's good. And that's the end of my turn. Oh, I got poison to handle, so let me handle that real quick. And I get four dice. Uh, that's a crack. There's a crit, so I am good. And I've gotten rid of my poison. All right. Uh, then we're on to Waku. Waku's knowledge is two. But I'm going to go ahead and risk it. I'm going to go ahead and jump in and see what we can find here. So it is an event. And we have X marks the spot. A monkey grunt snook up behind you and painted a big X on your back. You are now considered the closest enemy a target for enemy threat. All enemies will now move towards and attack you until the end of the encounter or until you are defeated. Ooh, that's not good. So I'll just place that over there by him. And then I'm going to go ahead and attack that monkey grunt there. And I get an extra die for that space. So crit, and four hits. So that monkey has been defeated, and I'll gain experience. So I'm at three now from that. And I think that is it. That's not good. <laughs> oh, no. I kind of screwed up there. That's going to be a pretty, pretty nasty thing here. Okay. Well, the grunts are going to go. There's nothing I can do about it. So our grunt here is going to rotate the cannon and fire onto that space there. So it's going to light the space on fire, and then it's going to deal three damage to each of our heroes. So I'm going to go ahead and start at the top with Amanda. She's going to take three damage, and she does take three damage. So she is at four damage now, and that is going to defeat her. So she's going to go down. That is going to drop one on the morale track. And so she'll gain the courage back. And then she does drop down to the bottom of the track. And then we're going to have to handle the next one. So that will be Flintlock. Flintlock has two defense, but he does move into a defensive slot. So he stops one damage, takes two. And we'll lose a Courage. And then for Lance. Lance is not in a defensive slot anymore, so he's only going to get three dice. He got two and a crit, so... All right, so I only take one wound on that one. So that's not as bad. But the space is on fire. All right, so that is it for the Grunts. Over to the caster to go. He is in a movement slot, so now one, two. So he's going to keep moving towards us. And then it kicks over to Amanda and to try to get back up. So in order to do that, she's going to roll one die for herself and one for each hero that is in her space. All right, nothing there. So second action and nothing. So she is going to stay down for now. All right, so that is the end of her turn. So we are back to Flintlock to go. So um, I'm going to spend my first action. I have to. I take a wound from from the fire. I'm going to take my first action to try to put that fire out. So I got to check my knowledge. 
and oh, the fire spreads actually because that was the end of the round. So fire is going to be moving into all those spaces. And then now I check my knowledge. I rolled one axe, so I do get to remove the one fire from that space. All right, my second action. I'm going to go ahead and try to get Amanda up. And I was unsuccessful. And then the third and final action. Uh, I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try to get her up again. And I'm still unsuccessful. All right. So that is the end of my turn. Over to archers. Cannot see us. So it is going to be Lance's turn. So Lance is going to try to put out some fire. And I got a crit. So all fire adjacent to me has been put out. So that's good. Then as my second action... Um, my yeah, my second action at this point. Uh, I'm gonna try to get back up, or I'm gonna try to get Amanda up. Yeah, and I did I did lose a courage from that, from when he attacked. I got her up. All right, so she is back up and ready to go. She regains half of her health, and so she's only got two damage on her now. Okay, so that is the end of my turn with Lance. So Waku is turn to go. So I'm going to move over and attack that grunt and try to finish him off before he's able to, to get us. And I rolled three axes. Actually, I'm going to move into his space. That way then at least you can't fire the cannon. That would be the smart thing to do since I whiffed completely anyways. All right, so then the grunt's going to go, and the grunt is in an attack slot, so he's going to get two di or two damage now on Waku because he's in the space. So Waku is going to get two defense because he's in a defensive slot. He rolls a crit, and that. So he's going to take lose one courage and take a wound. All right, that is the it for the grunt. So Caster, again, is going to move and attack. And the highest one on that track over there is Flintlock for two damage. So this could be it for Flintlock as well. So this is not going well at all. Uh, Flintlock's defense, he gets an extra one. He got a crit, so we have a shot here. He got another crit, so he doesn't go down at least, but he is going to run because he has been spooked. So we'll go ahead and drop him down to the bottom of the track. And that is that. And then he has to run away. So running away is probably going to put him up here because he has to run away from the caster. All right. Oh, man, I need to get a health. Um, so that is it for the caster. So we're over to Amanda. And now since she is up, she can take her turn. Uh, casters are in an attack slot, so I could attack him. So I will do that. Maybe we'll be able to do something here. All right, so two hits. The crit does not explode, so no damage there. I will try again. And just two again. No luck. Okay. Um, that is going to finish off her turn. She does get a free move, but the caster could hit her when, when from the dodge. So I'm going to go ahead and stay there. Over to Flintlock. Flintlock is going to attack that grunt and try to finish him off. He got two hits. One is a crit, so we'll get that. And a reroll, but we really don't need it. So that grunt has been eliminated. And he gets another experience point, so he's up to five now. All right, that was his first action. He has two left, so he is going to rotate that cannon. And then, hmm, I think I'm going to go ahead and fire across and see if I can make it over there. So I'm going to have to check my knowledge, and I am successful. So I'm going to go ahead and land right there. That was my intention. All right, that is the end of the round. So at this point, then the fire would spread. 
and we'll start a new round. But I think at this point, I'm going to take a few turns off camera and we'll be back to see how our heroes are doing a little bit later in the game. So we're back and our heroes have made some progress. They were able to clear off the rest of the top of the ship and now have descended into its depths to try to find the amulet. So we have picked up a couple of things. With Amanda, she ended up finding some fingerless gloves, which gives her an extra hit point. And Waku was able to pick up a striped shirt, which gives him plus one defense and an attack reroll. Unfortunately, in the process, he has become, or he has that X mark on him still. So he is the top priority for enemies, no matter where he falls within that until he is defeated. He doesn't have any hit points right now, so that's a plus. And so we're ready to jump back into it. So I repopulated the board, and our heroes are ready to go with Lance's turn coming up. Now we have the amulet here, and once we get it, then we also have to get our raft. So somebody's going to have to jump into that water and become poisoned to deal with that. So we'll see how that goes. And then we have to make our way out of the ship and to the end where we got some enemies to deal with as well there. All right, so Lance, it is his turn to go, and so he's going to go ahead and start off by attacking the pig gunners that are in that space. So with the gunners, they are down in a movement slot, so they don't get any extra bonuses there. So let's see what happens. And we got some crits. All right, so on top of everything else, with Lance, he has that prayer, so he is going to bless all of the characters with plus one defense because they're all in his space. So then he's gonna roll two extra dice, and there's another one. And so he's done three, so that will defeat that gunner there, and he gains another experience. So one more, and he's got an extra, he'll get an extra action. So let's go ahead and go again. He's gonna hit that second one there, and there's another crit, uh, and another hit. So that will defeat that gunner. And now Lance has moved into level two, so now he gets an extra action right away. So he'll use that to try to take out that last guy. Well, do I want to do that? Flintlock, or I, yeah, I think I do. And no, I don't. <laughs> I was thinking about trying to leave it for Amanda because she is still a little bit behind the rest of us. But uh, that was not in the cards. So the Brutes are next. Uh, and we have two Brutes out right now that cannot see us. So they are not going to activate. So it is over to Flintlock to go. Flintlock is dangerously close to going to level 3. So i got to be careful with what I do with him. But if I move with him at this point, I am going to have to roll a dodge. So, yeah, I think I will just go ahead and shoot and hope for the best. And he definitely got it. Uh, I can roll another crit. And then I get a reroll. Okay, so that is a dead pig gunner. And he gains another experience point, which puts him at eight. Oof. All right. And then that was my first action. I still have two actions left and a free move. So mm, I could move and check that darkness space. The casters are going to be coming up towards the ends, and that would open up line of sight at least. And I think I'm going to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and move in and find out what we have here. It is another event. So let's figure out what that's going to entail and see what we got here. All right. And we have Hoist the Colors. So you find a flagpole with three flags you can raise. You're going to check your knowledge. So with Flintlock, his knowledge is a two. So he's not the smartest bird out there. He got two successes, though. So he found the Fountain of Youth. He gains a health potion. That is actually really, really helpful. All right. So we'll just uh, place that over here for now. And that'll be discarded. And... That's really good because we have a couple of heroes that have taken a couple of damage so far. Flintlock has taken two, so he could use that right away, actually, and heal all of his hit points. Not too bad. Uh, he is going to take an attack, though, on that caster there just to try to do a little bit of damage, hopefully. The casters have two defense right now, so he has to get through that first. And we've got a crit and three hits. So the crit first and then a reroll. And nothing there. So first one was a dud. That uh, He's got one action remaining, so he's going to try one more time. And 
and he does get three crits. He cannot reroll. I forgot about that because uh, the casters do have that miasma. So I screwed that up. So it worked out that I didn't do any damage that time. So, but I do two two wounds this time on one of them. So that will help defeating them. All right, then uh, grunts. We actually don't. Oh yeah, we do. They are not going to activate at this point because the wall is blocking their sight. So it is over to Amanda to go. So with Amanda, I'm going to move over and attack the one that is wounded. Now with her being at a distance, because of her ability, she can attack from that range. She is not going to have to worry about suffering any ill effects. So she will get to reroll crits or roll from crit, crit explosions. So let's see if she can get the job done here. She just needs one and she did not get it. She missed the one. She almost had it. Okay. Oh, she does get a, uh, she does get an attack die. So, and she gets it. All right. That was very helpful. All right. So that is just enough to defeat the one guy and that will give her two experience. So now she is in level two. So that's good. All of our heroes have lined up and it is over to her for the next one. So she gets a free action right away. And I think she's going to use this demonic spatula. So this can be used as either a melee or ranged weapon. You only get two dice and crits are, or it's going to ignore defense and crits are going to do two wounds, but also do a wound to you. So it is going to bypass their defense and we'll use that to see if we can do a little bit of damage here. Uh, and she was unsuccessful on both fronts. Okay. So that is the end of her turn. We are on to archers. Archers cannot see us. So then it is going to be over to Waku. Waku has six experience. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move over. And I will attack that caster and see if I can do a little bit of something here. And I do get an attack reroll now, so that's good. So we'll see what we can do here. I get three dice. Um, so either I could move up and then negate one of his defense, or I could stay there and get crit, blow, uh, crit explosions. Which is better? Um, hmm. That's a tough, tough choice. Um, I think I'm going to stay here. I think the crits are a little more are more important at this point. And that paid off because I did roll a crit. So there's another crit. And a hit, but I get to re-roll it and doesn't doesn't help me with that but i do four hits so two of them are going to get through and do two damage to it as well as poison it that was my second action i do have one remaining so i could go again before the caster goes because the casters are going to do three damage yeah i definitely want to try to finish it off here hopefully and let's see what i get here i got two hits and a reroll. And there it is. There is my third hit. That was all I needed to bring that one down. All right, so that'll clear. And then I do get two experience. So I am right on the verge of going up as well. And that is the end of my turn. So it'll move over to the casters to go. So the caster is going to move right through this wall here and attack. So... It is, I believe it's going to attack him. Let's see. You are now considered the closest target for enemy threat. All enemies will move towards and attack you until the end of the counter. So I think he is going to be the top priority, even though it is in the same space as Flintlock. So we're going to attack Waku. I get plus one defense, so I'm going to get two. And I am in a defensive slot as well, so I get three, which is good because it's going to do three damage to me. So come on, Waku. Uh, no. <laughs> Baku was not paying attention, so it takes three. Oh, I do get one from that as well. So let me clear that real quick. And I got a crit, so there's one, two. Hey, hey, hey. 
three. Oh my goodness. That was, see, that's why you got to pay attention. <laughs> so I don't take any damage, but I do lose a courage. So that is all that. And we're ready to move on to Lance to start us off. So I think I'm going to have to move over for first for sure. And then I'm going to attack that caster. I get three dice. I'm not going to get any explosions, but he is at minus one from Waku's aura or corrosive aura. So it only has one defense. So that's good. So we'll see what happens here. And I got three, so that's cool. So one gets cleared, one, two get through, and that's two damage. And I got one action left. So come on, Lance, can we do it? And I cannot, unfortunately. I was close, but not, not close enough. All right, uh, that is it for Lance. So Brutes, again, can't see us. Flintlock is up next. Oh, geez. Um... Yeah, I don't really want to trigger another spawn event at this point. It's probably going to happen, most likely. But I don't necessarily want to do it right now. Um, Flintlock has gotten two damage, so I could try to avoid. And he is in a movement slot, so he does, he does get a free move. Um... What to do? I could move over and start working on some of them. Or I could just hold. I might think I'm just going to hold. So, yep, yeah, I'm going to bypass Flintlock's turn. We're on to the grunts. They can't see us. So it is over to Amanda to go. Amanda is going to go ahead and attack. She's going to try to finish that one off. Oh my goodness, she does. And it doesn't explode, but that is more than enough to destroy that caster. All right, so she's going to go and get two more experience. So she's up to six. All right, and at this point, that was her first action. Her second action, I think I'm pretty much going to have to. The casters are gone. At this point, I might have to start working over, getting my way over there to uh, to light them up. So, I'm gonna go ahead and move. That was my second action, and do I just get all the way over there? I think. No, I don't want to do that yet. I mean, they're gonna stay see me at this point, so they are going to activate. But I don't think I want to get blasted. Or I don't want to, it, that space is probably going to get hit, so I don't want to get completely lit up. The archers do not see us, so it is over to Waku to go. Waku gets three actions. Uh, so that's one, two, and I'll go ahead and try. So I get three dice with Waku, or I could do that. The Grenados. That might be a good option. I think I will do that. So I'm going to use the Grenados. Uh, I'm going to target one of the Grunts. And if I get a crit, it causes an AoE wound per crit. And I got two, two hits. I get to reroll one. Come on, crit. No. So just the two damage. The Aura gets through his defense, and so he takes two wounds. All right. So not super helpful, but that's all right. That will finish off his turn. End of the round. There's no fire at this point, so it is Lance's turn. Oh, boy. Um, Lance will move over for one. I can move over for two and then attack, but the, the, the Brute is going to shoot, and he, is, he does have a cannon, and he's in an attack space. Ooh. I might just want to hold there and let, let Waku take the, the brunt of it. Um, it's a shame I couldn't get a defensive one on him, though. That was <laughs> super helpful. Oh, man. Um, Waku did damage, so he does get his courage back. I think that is going to be it for Lance. Um... 
But I could, as my second, I will move in here. I will take a poison. So let me drop that on Lance as my second. And then my third, I will go ahead and get onto the raft. All right, so then Lance has to roll defense for the poison. And I take a wound because I was poisoned. Okay. That is going to be the end of Lance's turn. We're over to the Brute. So he is going to shoot Waku for three damage. He is going to light Waku's space on fire as well. And Waku gets his defense of two. So let's see what happens here. Well, I got one. So I take two damage from that. Now, if I would have stopped all the damage, then that space would not have been lit on fire as well. And then I do lose a Courage from that. All right, so that is the end of the Brute's turn. Over to Flintlock, who is going to move over and try to put out that fire. And I am successful. I definitely want to keep that under control. So that was his second action. I got one more. Or I got a, that was a free move, so I got two actions left. So I think I will move over and take a shot on that Brute and try to do some damage there. All right, so I got one success. And I get a, a re, or another die for the crit and then a reroll, uh, which turns into a crit. So another die. And so that's four successes. The uh, Brutes have one defense, which is nullified by the aura, so they have nothing. And that is going to be four damage on the Brute. So it is almost dead. So that's good. All right, uh, that is it for Rodriguez. So the grunts are going to go now. They are going to attack Waku. Each grunt does a damage and they attack as a group. So Waku is gonna have two damage coming at him and he does not stop either one. So he's going to take two more damage. That puts him up to four. No, he does get, he gets an extra from the uh, striped shirt. He got a crit. And another crit. So he actually stopped both damage, but he still loses his last one. He's already at the bottom of the track, and so he's just going to run two spaces away. All right. Um, actually, he's two spaces away. Tank. Yeah, I think that'll work. All right. Uh, that is the end of the Grunt's turn. So it's over to Amanda to go. So Amanda is going to move over. And she will attack. She gets four dice. And who do I want to attack here? I will attack. She's got two actions remaining. I'm going to go after the grunt that has not been damaged yet. And she got four hits. They are in a defensive slot, so they do get two defense. So two gets taken away, and two damage are going to be left. Okay. Then I'm going to go again and try to take out one of them. And two more. Um, and I do, I do not have any re-rolls at this point. So that is it. I was unsuccessful. All right. Uh, archers, nothing. And then Waku. So I'm going to go ahead and move back over. By the Waku, and at this point, hmm, Lance hasn't taken out anybody in a while, so I think uh, I'm going to pass with Waku. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm going to kick it over to Lance to begin the next round. I'm going to spend my first action to move, my second action to move, and then I'm going to attack. I will try to go after the Rhino, the Brute, and hopefully finish him off. I just need one success. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, that is that. 
All right, let me double check this. Um, so with this one, attacks are ranged. If the attack causes a wound, the space is on fire. Okay, so he doesn't, he does not uh, hit everybody in the space at this point. It's just that the space gets lit up. So he's going to target Waku as uh, he's got that target on his back. And so Waku's going to get two, three defense. So three defense against a three attack. We'll see what happens here. I need to stop at least a little bit of it, otherwise I'm going to die. Nope, I get my courage back, which I'm going to lose one here in a minute anyways. All right, I got a crit. Uh, so I only stopped one, so I take two damage. So he's almost dead, but not yet. All right, uh, that space does get lit on fire, so that's not good. And then it is over to Flintlock to go, who is going to take a wound from the fire. All right, and then I need to put that fire out. So I'm gonna check my knowledge and I'm good. Whew, that was close. Okay. Um, then, boy, oh boy, I'm running out of options here. Lance missed on his attack and it's going to be a little while before we get around to it and the grunts are going to go next and I don't want to have Waku go down. I think I'm going to have to go and pop my level at this point. So Flintlock is going to attack. I'll go after one of the grunts and I got two successes. One of them was a crit so and then a reroll. They get two defense. He takes one away so that is enough to defeat one. And that is going to defeat and level us up. So because of the level, each hero is going to gain two experience now because we went to level three. So that's cool. And because of that, what, see both Waku and Flintlock are gonna get level three abilities. So I can either do split shot or point blank plus one attack on close enemies, or I can do after rolling a ranged attack, you may split the attack dice to two targets to in clear shot. Hmm, that could be really useful. I think I will try that. So I'm gonna take split shot with Rodriguez. And Waku also leveled up. Um, so I can either do life siphon, uh, one action. I take a wound to heal two wounds on another hero. Uh, or I can have sleeping powder. Uh, crit attack causes sleep. Ooh, man, those are both good. Um, Hmm. That's a tough call. I think I'll take, I think I'm going to take the sleep though, because I've taken a lot of wounds on him. And so I don't necessarily, I mean, I could use a potion. I could trade for the potion and pop that, but mm, yeah, I think I'm going to take the sleep. All right, then I have to handle the spawn event. So that is going to spawn two cards as we are in level three now. And it's going to go to the spawn point that is closest, which is going to be that one initially. So level three is a caster and two archers. And that space is almost full. So caster goes first into there. Our space is full, so enemies would pop into the next available space. So they're going to pop over here. And then our second card is two casters. Oof. And there are no casters out right now, so they are gonna be put back on the board. And that is that. Okay, so, whew, okay. Back into it. That was his first action. I have two left. I'm gonna take some shots on some casters now. So I'm going to go ahead and get that one there. I do not explode anymore because I'm adjacent to them, but maybe we can do some damage here. All right, so I got three successes. I do get a reroll, and that does count as well. The casters have two defense, minus one because of Waku. So three get through, and I killed it. Oh, jeez. i got to be careful there. I don't want to go up too fast here. All right, uh, that was my second action. My third. Um, I could trade with Waku to give him the potion. Mm, 
I think I'm going to have to take out that or try to take out that grunt. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll go ahead and try to. Oh, yes, I definitely got him. Um, I, again, they don't explode because of the casters, but um, he is at minus one defense. So that is going to be enough to drop him because he has one defense. So that'll clear one and the other one gets through. OK, so I get a level for that or an experience point for that as well. And that will finish off the casters or the grunts as there's no more grunts out on the board. All right, so then it drops to Amanda. She is in an, uh, a defensive slot now, and she is almost ready to level up as well. Or I could leave that for Lance to finish off. Uh, I think I will. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use the Demonic Spatula, I think, on the caster. That's just two dice. And it bypasses their defense. And so that is two damage, or three damage, and she takes the damage because of the, the spatula, the way it works. But that actually defeats the caster. And that'll get her two. So now she is a level three. So let's see what options she has. She can take Ruthlessness, which gives her plus one attack and plus one reroll, uh, re roll, or the Trapper, which lets, gives her access to traps. Traps cause AoE knockdown. That could be really good as well. I think I will take the traps um, on her. So I have to, right now there's no, no good spot for them because I'm going to use her, I think, to pick up the amulet. And the amulet has an effect where it is going to have the air, the character potentially be possessed. So at the end of, each, of their turn, they are going to have to make a knowledge check. And if they fail their knowledge check, then they're possessed and they're going to attack the fellow players. So I don't want to boost up her attack because um, that would be really bad on that end of things. Um, so that was her first attack on that side. I could go again and try to take out that other guy. So that's what I'll do. Oh man, she got another crit. So that is another success, but another wound on her, and that will do two wounds to that caster. All right. And archers are next. So I think my last action, I will attack one of those archers and That is not enough. All right, so one wound on them. As I was using my spear, but that is not enough. All right, so then the archers are going to go. They're going to target Waku, and they're doing two apiece. So that's four damage coming his way. He's only got two defense now, so I think he's going to go down here. Yes, he is. So that will defeat him. So he's going to be placed down. That's another loss of morale. And he gains his next wound. All right. And then he drops to the bottom of the track, which is going to have the casters going next. So the casters are going to attack. They're going to attack Lance because he's highest on the track. So I'm going to lose a courage. And I got four defense plus one more for my token here. All right, let's see what I can do here. All right, so I block all the damage, and I am going to knock down one enemy. So I'll go ahead and knock down the caster. Make him a little easier to hopefully defeat. And that is going to take care of that. So that is the caster. So now we're back to Waku to try to get up. So Waku is going to get four dice, and he needs a crit. And he's back up. He can do a free move action as part of that. And he does regain half of his health. Rounded down. So that's that. Okay. And he regained his courage. But that's all he can do for his turn. So we are back up at the top of the order with Lance. So Lance is going to attack. I want to try to get rid of that brute. He is my top priority at this point. I just need one damage. Waku's back up, so I have the aura on there. Just need, yep, 
definitely enough. All right, so that is going to get Lance two points. So Lance is almost on the verge of going up as well. I will try again on the caster now. I just need one. Caster has been knocked down and has the, the aura, so it has no defense. So I, again, just need one. I was able to do it. And that gives him two more. So he's at 10 now, and he does get another one. So he has hold the line. Uh, plus one defense, one on the top of the initiative, so he has that. Or I can do Resurrection. Close down heroes automatically rally. That is also very good. I think I'm going to do Hold the Line, though. I think at this point I need a heavy defense, and he does have only two hit points left, so i got to be careful with that. All right. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and attack one of the pigs. I will go after the one that has not been damaged yet. And I only do one damage, so... Each one of them has one point of damage on them. All right, uh, that is it for Lance. Brutes do not activate. Flintlock is going to go next. Flintlock has 12. I think with Flintlock, I'm going to pass again because I don't want to get a bunch of experience with him. I'm going to need him to handle some of these guys down here. So Amanda's going to go. She's going to get her attack. She gets three and a... And she took the traps. So I'm going to go ahead and attack the first pig. And she got a crit. And so that's one, one pig gone. And then she'll go after the other one. And she got the other one as well. Okay. And that puts her up to 12. Okay. So that will take care of those two. And then she's going to go ahead and pick that up as part of her last part of this. So she has the amulets. All right, so at the end of her turn now, she has to check her knowledge to see if she can uh, make it through. So she's got four, she needs one success, and she's good. All right, so the amulet does not possess her at this point. That was her three uh, archers are still there, but have not do not have anything, and casters have been eliminated. So, down to archers and brutes. Uh, over to Waku. Waku gets a free move. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to come over here as my first action. Second action, I'll pick up that treasure. And then third action, I'm going to move back over onto the raft. So the treasure I get is a bandana, plus one attack. Very nice. Okay. That is the end of my turn, the end of the round. Back up to the top of the order with Lance. I'm going to go ahead and jump on the raft as well. Get ready to start moving here. And I think that's it. So on to poison to see if uh, I get poisoned here. I get, uh, I get three plus the one for my position plus the one for hold the line. And I am good and I've cleared my poison. Okay. So that is the end of my turn. Brutes don't activate. Rodriguez is going to step in there. And he's going to hold off. And Amanda's going to go. That's her first. That's her second action. And the archers are going to be the next to go. So I think I'm going to wait there. Again, she's going to check her knowledge. And she's good again. So that's great. On to archers that cannot see us yet. So Waku is going to go. He's going to go ahead and move us. And put us there. And then as his second action, he's going to attack. He gets plus one on his attack dice because of that, or because of the bandana. So let's see what happens here. First pig, he got him. All right, so that's one down. And second one. And he got the second one. All right. So pigs have been cleared, and they are out of the way. And that is his three actions. So that is the end of the round. Oh, he gets a free move as well. So let's go ahead and move again then. All right. So that will finish that off. We're up at the top of the order with Lance. Brute's going to be the next to go at this point, and he already sees us, so he is active. So I'm going to go ahead and move up. It's my first action. Second action, I'm going to go ahead and attack. And see what we can do here. All right, I got two successes. 
and I have no no rerolls at this point, so that's two damage on him. All right, fresh dice. All right, let's see if we can do it here. Ah, oh, just one more, so he's up to three. And this was cleared as he did was defeated. So it is going to fall the lance to try to stop this here. All right. And the enemy has three, two hit points left. All right. Uh, brutes are going to go next. So he is going to attack Lance. And Lance gets five defensive dice. If he can stop the damage, then he won't take... Come on, Lance. All right. And I do stop the damage and I crit. So I knock him over and knock down as part of the shield effect. And I do lose the courage from that, but that is good. And the space does not catch on fire. So we are definitely going to be good with that. And then Flintlock is going to attack. I'm going to try to finish him off here. Oh, yeah. All right. So that's two. And oh, yeah. That's a dead rhino. That's going to get him two more. So he, he's almost there to level up. And his last action, he's going to move. And that is the game. We were able to make it off without any too or too much of a trouble there. But uh, whew, that was a close one. I had two points left on my morale track. And I had a couple of heroes that were really close. Amanda only had uh, two hit points left. Lance had two hit points left. Waku or Rid Flintlock only had one point left before he went down. So a couple more things could have gone. It could have gone really bad really quick. So I hope you found the video interesting. Let me know in the comments down below if you if you noticed anything that I did wrong or what your thoughts are on this and what you think about some of the new mechanics in the game. And until next time, I'll see you later.